Assalamu alaikum. Some people say the markets are efficient, which implies that there is no reason to bother picking stocks because the price of a stock already reflects all available information. Well, today's stock is proof that these people are wrong. There are clear examples of egregious mispricings in the market that persist for extended periods of time, and I believe today's stock is one such example. Today we're going to talk about Lucid Motors, ticker symbol LCID. Lucid Motors is a US-based electric vehicle startup. The stock for Lucid Motors is trading at a market cap north of $60 billion. Given this valuation, one would assume Lucid Motors is pumping out electric vehicles like hotcakes. In fact, Lucid is set to deliver around 500,000 cars this year. My apologies, I read that wrong. Lucid is set to deliver around 500 cars this year, which is like a Juma parking lot worth of cars at your average mosque. Keep in mind, as we mentioned, this is a company that the market is valuing at more than $60 billion. That's $120 million in market cap for each car it delivers this year. The absolute best case scenario is that Lucid's revenue from the cars it delivers this year add up to $100 million. This means Lucid is currently trading at a price to sales ratio that is above 600. For context, the average price to sales ratio of the S&P 500 is around three. So Lucid Motors is currently trading at a valuation that is 200 times more expensive than the average S&P 500 company. Why is this? To be fair with our analysis, let's entertain the bullish arguments to see if they can get us to this valuation. The first argument that I hear commonly cited is that customer deliveries have already started and reservations are on the rise. This is certainly a positive. The fact that Lucid actually delivered some cars makes it better than Nikola that only managed to roll a truck down a hill. However, let's keep things in perspective we're still only talking about hundreds of deliveries folks they haven't reached a thousand delivered cars yet as for reservations lucid reported over 17,000 reservations in november up from 13,000 in september again certainly a positive however reservations are not purchases and they certainly are not deliveries i went to reserve a lucid air to see what type of commitment was required to make a reservation to reserve a lucid air you only need to put 300 dollars down which is advertised as fully refundable so i'm not sure the reservation number actually consists entirely of people who aren't going to back down from the purchase when additional payments are requested the second argument that Lucid Bull's site is that Lucid Air's range of 520 miles beat out Tesla's. And while it is true that Lucid Air Dream Edition's range clocked in at 520 miles compared to the Tesla Model S long range of 405 miles, it's also true that the Lucid Air Dream Edition costs $161,000 compared to $91,000 for the Tesla Model S long range. So if price is not a consideration at all, which I don't think applies to the vast majority of people, the increased range adds to Lucid's competitiveness. Even if price is a complete non-issue for you, you must still consider the inexperience of Lucid compared to Tesla, especially as it relates to self-driving, wherein Tesla has billions of miles of data that informs its systems and makes them smarter, whereas Lucid does not. So I think it's a very tough argument to make for a customer to pay a 90% higher price for 100 miles of additional range, especially in light of the other considerations that Lucid may be in fact inferior in. Granted, we're talking about the dream edition for Lucid Air and Lucid does plan on making much cheaper versions. I've seen a 77,000 price target thrown around but getting there may not be as easy as some seem to think. Which brings me to the third point that Lucid investors like to focus on, which is that Lucid is projecting to build 20,000 units in 2022. As I'm sure you know, projections are not reality. The fact of the matter is, 20,000 units in 2022 means they will need to scale production 40 times in less than 12 months. This is not just a capital problem, it's also a competence problem. 
scaling manufacturing is extremely difficult. Keep in mind the Lucid team has been working on Lucid Air for nearly a decade by some accounts and was only able to deliver its first car last October. Even if for argument's sake we assume the best case scenario where Lucid in the next 12 months reaches a production rate of 5,000 cars per quarter or 20,000 per year. When Tesla reached this production rate of 5,000 plus cars in a quarter in Q1 of 2013, it was valued at just less than $5 billion. With a key difference being that Tesla in Q1 of 2013 didn't have to compete with Tesla from eight years in the future, which Lucid does. Not to mention all of the other car manufacturers that weren't competing with Tesla on electric vehicles at the time, but are competing with Lucid now. So I think today, if I'm being generous, this is a five to $10 billion company, not 60 plus billion. In other words, instead of a share price of near $40, I think it's actually worth three to $7. The only thing I can think of that would explain why investors are valuing Lucid at this price is something called availability bias. Availability bias is the human tendency to think that examples of things that come easily to mind have a higher probability of occurring than they actually do. Many can easily recall their experience with Tesla, an electric vehicle manufacturer that went from relative obscurity to a trillion dollar behemoth, and now they are overestimating the likelihood of this occurring. Be wary of the biases of the mind. They tend to be the downfall for many investors. This is my take at least. Make sure to do your own due diligence. This was not investment advice, you know the drill. If you'd like to follow my growth stock portfolio, you can do so by becoming a member using the link in the description. Be sure to join our Discord group, also linked to in the description. Like and subscribe. Until next time, make sure to take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum and peace be upon you all.